I think one of the key things when we're thinking about science, evidence-based medicine, is just because someone says something, it doesn't mean that it's true. You should always be asking, where is the evidence for this? Is it just one person who's been treated with this magic miracle cure and they've got better? Or is it hundreds of people that have taken a treatment and it's shown to prolong their survival uh, or even get rid of their, their cancer altogether? What's the difference there? I'd put a lot of weight on trials that had tens, hundreds, thousands of people in compared to a trial, just you know, a story about one person or a, a couple of stories. Where's the, where's the validation in that? You don't know if these people even really existed. In the UK and in many countries around the world, we have legislation that means your clinical trials have to be carried out in a certain way so that we know that they're correct, so that we know that the evidence is reliable. Um, Any time you're coming up against a new treatment for whatever disease you're interested in, ask yourself, what's the evidence? Is it reliable? Has it been done in many people? Are the studies rigorous? You know, have all these people been treated in the same way? Um, what sort of treatment have they had? What other kinds of treatment have they had? A really fascinating one is where you hear about this amazing treatment that makes loads of people better, whereas in fact they're still all having conventional treatment as well. So, you know, how do we know that it's really making a difference? So I think really the key is to ask simply, what is the evidence that supports what these people are saying? Are there published papers? Are there published trials? Another aspect is the idea that there's some massive conspiracy out there that is trying to suppress cures for cancer or cures for AIDS, and that is, quite frankly, rubbish. An organisation like Cancer Research UK, we would be thrilled if someone could cure cancer tomorrow. It would be fantastic. We could then get on with trying to prevent cancer and trying to make better ways to treat it. You know, we're not trying to keep our jobs safe. We would love to be put out of business by someone having a cure for cancer. That's the absolute truth. The simple fact is, is that it's a very complicated disease. Cancer's 200 different diseases. There's no one magic bullet. There's no one magic cure for this disease. And there's certainly no massive conspiracy trying to cover it up. That's absolute nonsense.